there are other kinds of magic, like the magic of a wall of sound produced around the dulcet tones of a bunch of Andellas singing about a heat wave or quicksand. I speak of the sweet sound of the Motor City, Detroit, America's leading producer of urban decay. Also the setting for our next game, The Hustle, Detroit Streets. Ah, Detroit, we love this city. From the beautiful skyline, to the charming local character, to the enthusiastic sporting community. Everything about it says quality. Now, if only they could make a good video game about it. The Hustle Detroit Streets is a pool simulator that was actually ported from the handheld PSP to the home console PS2 and Xbox. You might think that the upgrade would have helped out the source material. Here's the penny. You'd be wrong. The main scratch on this cue ball is the ham-fisted attempt to give this title unneeded edge. From the ridiculous storyline, which has you teaming up with a street smart cop to take down a gambling kingpin, to the faux gritty locales, to the lame dialogue. Yo, new boy, set him up. Almost every aspect feels forced. You don't need the street smarts of a hustler to know that any game which begins with a Cosmo-esque personality quiz is grasping desperately for ways to inject personality. Despite the name of the game, there isn't a whole lot of hustling involved here. A loser with a stick and an attitude. You simply make your bets and play a straightforward game. But then I guess, by the numbers round of pool, Detroit Streets isn't quite as catchy of a title. Surprisingly, though, the part where you actually get to play is halfway decent. We're cooking now! Aiming is intuitive, and timing your button presses to make just the right shot is an addictive challenge. There's also an interesting gameplay twist. If your opponent makes two or more shots in a row, your intimidation level rises. The more intimidated you are, the faster your marker moves when you're trying to shoot. It adds a nice bit of variation to your matches. But that about does it for the sunny side of these streets. Go back to where you came from. The limited vocabulary of your billiards ball challengers would embarrass even a professional wrestler. My whoop ass costs more than that. Whoop ass, chump. Yeah, it's time we get this guy at thesaurus. Can of whoop ass is on the shelf, chump. Also, the transition from handheld to console has not treated this hustle very well. Particularly bad are the background crowd characters. They look like cardboard cutouts swaying underwater. If Detroit looks this ugly, then remind me never to g Oh wait, it is this ugly. We don't want ya! As a portable title, this was pretty good. Oh boy! But on the big, I mean, bigger screen, it just doesn't cut it. The Hustle Detroit Streets racks up a two out of five. Smoking! That's a scratch, sucker! Well, the erosion of America's manufacturing industry has destroyed Detroit's economic base. At least they still have illegal billiards gambling to make up the difference. With their dreary skies and gray snow, the Rust Belt cities in the upper Midwest always make the best urban wastelands. Mmm, a pool hustling game sort of wastes the potential presented by a setting like Detroit. Instead, they should have made a game about upper middle class youth trying to drive from Gross Point to Windsor, Ontario without witnessing any pain or suffering. Or a nice city builder game where you manage white flight. Yeah. If you enjoy this pointless conjecture about hypothetical video games, so I come to G4TV.com for much more such hilarity. There's also a Spock market. Check it out. Oh, yeah.